All right, we are back with another article. A service dog was rescued from under a pier two days after swimming across the Hudson River to New Jersey from Manhattan. It's not very long, but I did find an article on YouTube about the exact same thing. So we'll see that when we're done here. <clears throat> and this is in Hoboken, New Jersey, so right around from the corner. Uh, firefighters rescued a dog that swam from Manhattan to Jersey in the Hudson River. The dog's owner said he slipped out of his collar while she was taking him to buy a new harness. On the way. Like they knew. They knew they needed it. Firefighters said they found the dog under a pier near Independence Harbor. Firefighters rescued a dog who ran away from his owner and swam more than one mile across the Hudson River from Manhattan to New Jersey. First off, right off the bat, this, this gives me the vibes of either a very, very young dog or a very, very sound sensitive dog that bolts off, right? Because dogs don't typically do that unless they have big feelings about something. So right away, something, something's off, right? Firefighters with the Edgewater Fire said they found the dog under a pier near Independence Harbor early Tuesday morning, according to WABC. The dog named Bear had been missing for two days when firefighters found it in the river. Edgewater police received a call at around midnight on Tuesday morning about a barking dog near the pier. Bear's owner, Ellen Wolpen, told WABC that she never expected to see Bear again. Wolpen had just gotten Bear the week before to be a service dog for her son. Yeah, so a week, you've only had the puppy a week, everything's already scary. Yeah, that, and, I, and I'm sure, you know, a dog named Bear, did you get a picture of the dog? No, it's probably a very large breed dog that's growing fairly quickly. Um, but it shouldn't be slipping out of his collar. Let's, let's see, let's see. Some, some breeds have very narrow heads, so let's see. Do some investigation. Um, I never even expected to be telling this story, Wolfen said. My son is like, make up a story that is more believable. <laughs> so this lady got a service dog for her son, who, do they say how, do we know how old the kid is? And the kid's like, ma, if you didn't want the dog, you should have just told me that you got rid of the dog. Like, can you imagine the backstory behind this? Like, mom, make it more believable. Like, I told you I needed a service dog, and you were against the idea the entire way, and we only had the dog for a week, and it's just like you to take the dog back now, isn't it? <laughs> like, there's some story behind that. <clears throat> Wolpen told NBC that Bear slipped out of his collar while she was walking him to, a new, to get a new harness in Manhattan and ran 30 blocks north before someone saw him jump into the Hudson River. Like, can you imagine just running after your dog for 30 blocks? I bet you this dog came from somewhere that was not used to the city, way overwhelmed, too much traffic, too many people, just, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like a good fit anyway, to be honest. Wolpen said they called 911 to report Bear was in the river and the patrol boats searched the river for hours. Why is it in air quotes? Tom Quinton, a representative for Edgewater Fire, told WABC that the two firemen got into the water with ice rescue suits to get Bear out. Wow, so that was cold. That, I'm surprised that dog even survived that long. Wolpen said that Bear is doing great. Again, air quotes. Why are they using air quotes? after the ordeal and that you would never know he had this adventure. He's given us a lifetime of happiness because of this. I say the dog is a fighter and so is my son. It's a weird thing to say, isn't it? Who's he? I hope she's referring to like the fire department because he's given us a lifetime of happiness because of this. I couldn't imagine that the scenario gave them that happiness. I don't, I don't know. Um, anyways, I did find a YouTube clip, so let's watch that. Burmese Mountain Dog Mix, originally from Montana. A Burmese Mix? Meat Bear, a Leon Burger Burmese Mountain Dog. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not. I mean, um, I have, a, I have the sound up all the way, so let's go. Mix, originally from Montana. He's training to be a service dog with the Wolpen family on New York's Upper West Side. But that training 
was put on hold last weekend. He looks so stressed. Took off, ran down the block. Somebody else tried to grab him. Helen Wolpin was walking the pup to get a new harness when Bear slipped out of his loose. And did you collar. see? It looks like he has that harness. Did you see the dent? That big, that big purple. Um, it's not a herd of harness. What is it? It's like a something outdoor. I can't remember what it's called. I know the logo though. You show me the logo. I know. Well, Bear ended up running 30 blocks north, ending up in this area where someone saw him jump into the Hudson River where he disappeared. I didn't even know the dog could swim. So I ran home, I Googled, I called 911. They had patrol boats out looking for him for hours. They couldn't find him. But after two and a half days, and just when the Wolpen family had given up hope, this radio call came in. All members of the Edgewater Fire Department, the fireboat is needed in the south of Independence Harbor for a dog that is stuck under the pier. Bear spotted by first responders a half a mile That's across a the story. river in Edgewater, New Jersey. In the area where we're hearing the barking, there is mud, but I think you'll be able to access the end of the pier and get eyes underneath. I thought somebody was joking with me because there was no way, um, but he was out there for two and a half days by himself. Firefighters with the Edgewater Volunteer a Fire Department puppy. posting this photo of Bear, cold and wet, but alive. I cannot thank the fire department and the police department enough. From my understanding, they were out there for about five hours trying to get him out from underneath the pier. The Wolpin family happy to have Bear back home. He's exhausted. A long journey. Look at I was that. telling people he did He's so tired. Blog. He ran a mile and a half and then swam across, which I think is about a mile. Now hoping his paws stay on dry land. That is a Hopefully tired his swimming days are over. For today, a little Stephen stressed, Rumble, very New tired. <laughs> That is an incredible story. I feel like you can see in Bear's eyes how happy he is to be home. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know I screwed up, but I knew it's, it's <laughs> the, the, the name of Flounder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. I wonder if that was the night they found him. Holy cannoli. <clears throat> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that article. I'll I'll see you next time.